Hello everybody, my name is Salty and today I am doing a review of the ATRT set released in 2013. This set had the set number of 75016, includes 222 pieces and retails for a price of £20 in the UK or $20 in the US when it was released back in 2013. It is of course no longer being sold on shelves and can only be bought through eBay or Bricklink. Now you can see in front of you this set does include four minifigures and that does include the uh, droidica here as a minifigure if you want to include that then you can if not then don't but now we're going to go on to the actual review of the set and the minifigures the first minifigure up is Yoda now this is an exclusive Yoda for this set and it is also a Clone Wars version of Yoda now he does have some very nice torso printing there as you can see and some face printing as well as no printing on his legs as he is using the mini legs which do not articulate. Turning him around you can see that he does have a hood, a hood printed on to his back as well as some creases in his robes as well as some printing on his of his white hair on his headpiece. Now his headpiece is made out of this more rubbery material so that it does not snap however However, it is not as rubbery as the other Yoda that I do have from the AAT. Now, Yoda doesn't really make sense to be in this set, as this is, I believe, based from numerous scenes in the Clone Wars Season 4 and 5, and Yoda is not really seen in battle during those, but it does give us a new look at the Yoda minifigure. Now, he does, of course, have his green lightsaber, which is the normal length of a lightsaber compared to the shorter length which would fit Yoda better but Lego has not done that with any lightsaber for Yoda in the past so who would have thought they would have done it now. Next up we have a very exclusive minifigure which is the 501st Trooper. Now as you can see he is 501st by the blue markings on his torso, helmet and legs. He does also have blue arms which aren't technically accurate to the minifigure but do work really well with the minifigure. If I take off his helmet you can see that he does have the basic Clone Wars clone face putting his helmet back on and we can draw attention to his blaster which is the medium length uh, blaster rifle which is seen on a lot of uh, Star Wars sets. Turning him around he does have back printing which you can see there and there's no printing on the back of his helmet, but there is some printing on the back of his torso, and is is uh, a normal Phase Two clone printing. I think I don't have many Phase Two clones, but the ones I do have similar printing to this one. We yeah, ask it for the five o first clone trooper. Next minifigure we have up here is the Commando Droid Captain, exclusive to this set. He does have a medium blast rifle and a brown. Uh, torso and legs. He does use the regular droid arms and what looks like a regular droid body with a little red dot printed on there. He does use the super battle droid legs though to make him uh, stand taller than a regular battle droid. He does have some very nice face printing as you can see. Turning him around he does not have... oh I just dropped his gun. There we go. Just hold the gun please. There we go. As you can see he does have a stud on the back of him in case you want to add a mag pack of some kind. With this one you could add a uh, one by one clip piece and a sword to represent how commando droids do tend to use swords when fighting. The final minifigure in this set is the droidica. Now this is a sniper droidica so it is a bit uh, different to regular droidicas that were released at the time and this droidica is also a sniper droidica so it does have the longer gun hair as opposed to the two uh, side guns that a normal droidica has. It does have this eye in the middle and this uh, kind of shell piece if you will to like protect its head and some more defending pieces. It has three legs which stand very well and it also does have this bit at the bottom. Now you can make it stand shorter, you just extend its legs. It does stand shorter if you want to do that, but personally I have it stand quite tall just so I can see over walls and stuff while I need to put it in a mock. Yes, it's a very nice droidica and is the only sniper droidica to exist in Lego. 
Finally here we do have the 501st ATR2. You can tell it is the 501st due to the stickers which do indicate oh, drop it. due to the stickers which say 501 on. Now this does have a lot of markings and stickers on it, as you can see. But the stickers do add quite a lot of detail to it, which isn't which you can't get with normal Lego pieces. Now the legs do move, they do have quite a lot of articulation because they've got two different points here and then one point here in the foot to get it to stand, however it doesn't really stand very well, it kind of topples over. You can move this bit to make it shoot upwards, one stage, and there's the antenna. But yeah, it's a very nice Lego set, you can have your 501st clone trooper sat down up here and have him hold on to these uh, little uh, handlebars and have his weapon just placed right in the back here because there is a single stud right there that you can place the gun in. But the only flaw I have with this set is that this piece does fall off quite a lot which was fixed in the 20th anniversary uh, ATRT. But yeah, it's a very nice uh, ATRT build with this swiveling cannon. Overall, I, I do really like this ATRT. It's a very nice build and a very nice set. It does include some uh, named characters such as the uh, Yoda minifigure, and it does include some minifigures which are less, which you can't really build an army of, such as the uh, Commander Droid Captain and the Sniper Droid Dicker. However, you can still get multiples of them, and they won't look particularly weird as long as you've got a load of the regular forms of Droidica and Commando Droid because there's no point in having Commando Droid Captains without Commando Droid uh, to, you know, follow it. But yeah, this is a really nice set and does look very good and I'm very glad to have it in my collection as it is one of two sets that do include the 501st Clone Trooper. However, there is a new version of this set with a stud shooter down here as opposed to this cannon which makes it kind of look like a... Um, uh, a less powerful kind of build. Now I'm sure you could uh, modify the new one to have a cannon like this one or you could just say that the newer one ha is less powerful and this is like a heavy ATRT and the newer one is a light ATRT which you could do I guess. This could be more of an anti-artillery cannon that it has on the front there. But yeah that's it for this review. I'm really excited for the new 501st Legion clone, uh, clone trooper set. And I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.